Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here, welcome to my blue room with my dirty mirror back there and uh, today we'll be talking about corporate colors, about colors, uh, color palette in your uh, power app. We will see how to create your own color, how to use your uh, colors uh, inside the whole app in your admin screen or to use it from your Dataverse or Shape or SharePoint list for many applications. Uh, let me also show you we can use the, the ribbon like this. This will ch change this color globally for all the users in your application. So stay with me. This uh, this video demanded a lot of effort for, uh, from me, so I hope you like it. I hope it will be useful for you. And uh, Zbigniew Fukowski in, let's start. Okay, so let's start. I have a ribbon, a rectangle shape, which I want to be visible in my landing screen and this uh, should be different color than black it should be like let's start with the green and i want to set it inside my power application so i've already created a screen the change colors and this is the landing screen on this screen i want to have this rectangle visible uh, by admin and only by admin and it will be the same color as, as this rectangle here. I'm only showing you this because this will be not, um, not visible from the play mode, only in edit mode and only by, by the creators of this application. I'm only showing this for the reference to, to, to show you that the color is the same. Okay, so in here, I want to set my color will be this green, cool. And I want to, in the landing screen, I've already created this, this code, but this will be on the color. And in the color, I want to reference my, my shape primary color field. The primary color is, is here, so. This is my shape primary color and its color is just references references so if your app loads it also will grab this uh, this property the color of the sh the shape primary color because it will uh, it will be needed on the landing screen and as you can see this is this will be the, the same so let's start with the second option the second option you have is e to create on the app start a code which will give you the collection with your colors okay so i want to do the clear collect i want to create the collection let's say i don't know app colors i want to have it an, a name like the name will be the primary color cool and the value will be and I will go to the color palette. Oh, this, this green is nice. Let's create a hex color now, not the RGBT value, but the hex one. Let's uh, go, let's close the parentheses. Uh -huh. oh, but of course, this. Okay, so we have a working collection now. Uh, with the name the primary color and the value in the hex color i don't want to use the rgb because then i would have to like create the r and the g uh, the the g and the b so it's it's not that that efficient it's better to have the hex color here and i want this hex color to be used in my color of of fill here so for this i will need to use the color value yeah the color value it was this this function and i want to look up my collection call colors colors collection color uh, collection up colors sorry up colors yeah the name name should be equal to 
primary color cool and the value should be yeah i should i want to take the value so this is this is it i should have my proper color oh it's not changing it's not changing because i have to now run out on the upstart and we have our sandy green let's call it this is great this is the second option that you have and it's working fine it's uh, it's need additional resources on the upstart so if you have big color palette this may not be your your um, way to go depending on the performance so check your performance in the app if you have many other functions in the upstart it may slow your application a bit but i did not uh, provide the, the the performance test for this this uh, yet so i don't know what's the exact time deficiency that you will get by using this this performance i never had any problems with this so if you want to use it you are probably free to go at least in the the smaller apps this is the second option this is the option which will give you the and the option to change on the upstart for the admin as well so you you can do it in the application if you are the app creator and let's go now to the third option okay so the third option will be will be based on the clear collect and clear, uh, creation of the collection here and let's assume that you want to have a full control in your uh, data source of on your colors this is sometimes needed for example you want to have one app for all the admins to co control all the other applications and you want all the other applications to grab the data from this from this application and to use it so all the color values are stored in a data table or a sharepoint list for now i will use the the data table so let me create a new table let me um, let me add the columns and the data oh this is a new designer i haven't yet seen this one hey okay, let's go with the um, edit column let's call the display name the the hex color volume cool let's add the new one let's call it the the name property cool save sorry edit x color value update okay let's change the table name to test up settings cool uh, settings and colors because this will be a, a table only for the colors okay so let's let's get our color palette let's go and create our hex color here let's name it primary color cool create it's creating table Mm. this will take a moment okay i have my name let's copy it let's go to app let's go to the data let's add the data let's go to test up colors it will be loading now and here i want to clear collect but in here I want to get the test app colors. I want to get all the data from the from there, right? So I have in my collection app colors. And now the the only one line, this one, and let's let's go with this code and in color value, like let's still look up our collection the name the name sorry i use it like that like this let's call it the name primary color and we use the 
hex color value. Hex color value. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's let's run on start. And as you can see, it's working. So this solution will be great if you have your admins working on one app and the others uh, app will just grab the data from one main application or you want to store your your company color in the dataverse or in the SharePoint list you have them stored and you just want to grab them uh, if any change happens on the source it will be automatically uh, automatically seen on all the application this is uh, approach that uh, some clients are using it's it's uh, one of the recommended approaches I, I guess I don't see any downsides between uh, just the small performance issue on the upstart but it's up if if upstart is not that big that you are or you are going f uh, to be fine uh, this will give you uh, uh, also the flexibility in creating new application because uh, you can write an instructions how to get all the colors and how to use them in your application. This will also be great. Uh, so this is the third one. Okay, and we have a last uh, but not least option. The, um, the option which will be able to implement inside Power Apps in the play mode for the admins. So if you have the change color screen, you can in play mode, you can enable this only to be visible for admins. If you want uh, to know how to do it, I have the whole other video on this problem. And if you go to the to your screen, you can by using, for example, a slider, change the value of this color. How to do it? We have a slider one, call it slider two. I, I won't be changing this to correct name, just I want to just show you the the options that you have slider three and this will uh, uh, let's say this will be our rgb value so i have the color i have rgb value so i will use this the slider one dot value instead of this the slider two dot value instead of this slider three dot value okay cool if we now change this, we can manipulate this color and use it, this color on the landing screen. Up the landing screen, let's let's comment this and let's use the the uh, um, the shape primary color dot fill. It will change to the violet great now if we go here let's change it to the red it will go here it will be uh, it, it you can implement this for each and every part of your application but there is a little bit of a problem this will work only in your current session and if you change the session it will be horrible because this uh, this uh, default property you need to use it you need to use it and this default property have to be written somewhere and written to somewhere so for example you can use it in your data database so i will now create the the new column let's call it let's sorry cancel let's create a new column let's call it the the color value r this will be a psh. this will be a number i will create the same for g and for b it will be it will have a name primary color we will keep this Okay, so now we in the default section we want to to use this code. It's, it will look up our our table in the dataverse. This table, 
then it will look up the name the primary column color this one and then it will select the value r this will be the default this will be the default uh, sorry this will be the default for the g and for the b as well in the, the third one so this as you can see this is this is working next thing we will, what which we want to do is to go to the on change property and in on change property we want, want to patch our our uh, table the dataverse table and we want to patch the record which has the name the primary color and we want to patch the value r so each time the user will change this value oh like this like this like this like this then each time we want our database to patch our our value up color value g and in here color value b okay so we want to patch it here 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 we have a blue one let's go to the colors the values are are saved let's see how it behaves when we save it when we publish it publish this version yeah we go back to our apps we have our test suite let's go it's loading oh, new version is not yet deployed refresh okay so let's go here let's go for the violet one. we have the violet one let's close this session let's go back we have the violet one this means that's it's working it will work globally so if i will change this to, to the blue one we have the blue one we close the session we have this one we have the blue one if i will open in incognito or as other users this will also be working so this is the way how admin can change a color for entire app for entirety of the users by using the dataverse or you can alternatively use the sharepoint if you want oh and one very important thing you also can use this to change the color of your app individually for each of your users so each of your user can go to the let's call it setting page then set the color of your app then go back and see all the color this will also demand one additional step you need to have the table in the uh, dataverse or in the sharepoint list you have to you need to have the line with the user data so that you, you will use the current user uh, email and save it there then save the value rgbt for this user and you can use the global ones set by admin unless the user are uh, is uh, is um, uh, wanted to change this color then the user can go to the setting and change this color and if, if there is a line with the user with his email and the value of rgb then you can use the user colors this will make make sense as well and it will have um, it uh, you will need then to load it on your app start for example those colors no but this will this will work as well this is an advanced idea i don't know if you want to uh want to use it but surely you can this is this is possible in power apps as well so i hope that helped i've made a lot of effort in this video if you if you liked it you can sub like etc i have also 100 other power apps power platform power automated videos you can look at those as well and big out hope this was helpful see you